I have a second channel, Cube Compium DDX. Hey everybody, so we have a Dell Ultraflex 390 system on the desk here, and I like to show you all the issue that it's giving me. So when you go turn it on, you'll get the following message. Sometimes you won't get it. Sometimes everything will start up just fine. Yet other times, you'll end up getting the message. So let's go ahead and start this thing up and let's see if it does it. You'll see this alert. Um, there's actually two alerts here. Alert previous fan failure and alert hard drive fan failure. So if we look at the fans in the system here, you can see how the CPU fan's working all right. It's just running at a slow speed due to the way smart fan is configured, but look at that system fan. And no, that's not an illusion on the camera. It's actually spinning as fast as it looks on video. So, I mean, it's just barely turning. Sometimes it actually stalls. It, um, it doesn't start turning at all. It's probably, it, it might start turning after a few minutes, but you can just see, um, it's, it's turning, but it's not turning well. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. We're going to go ahead and shut down the system. Go ahead and plug power from the back. And now we'll go ahead and set the system on its side. We're going to plug this fan and we'll need to pull it out it's got these rubber grommets in there I don't much care for these I'm going to actually replace these with screws okay so I pulled the fan out and here's where it went I didn't include footage there because apparently I cut my thumb on this very sharp edge inside this case and I uh, don't think my viewers want to see a bloody thumb, so I omitted that footage and got everything cleaned up. But um, so here we got the fan. What we need to do now is take this label off to access the rubber plunger. So we're going to, have to use a uh, a precision screwdriver flat blade screwdriver to get this off set that to the side and as you may be able to see that bearing is really dry so you can see how the fan stops spinning pretty much immediately after I take my finger off you can see how it kind of goes backwards a little bit if it spins fast enough you'll hear a vibration but what it is these Octoplex 390s they always run the system fan at a very low speed when they start up they briefly run the CPU fan at a higher speed but they don't do it with the system fan to help get it started so when the bearing starts to get tight it just it just seizes it doesn't turn or it will start to turn after a moment. So we put some fresh oil in this uh, bearing, and an oil that I have here, it's uh, I got I got it from a place of work a while back. Um, but I think a good equivalent would be the three-in-one electric motor oil. Not the general three-in-one oil. I mean, it will. The the, the general three-in-one stuff will work. 
it just doesn't seem to last from my experience. So I gotta pop this little cap off. You could probably use automotive motor oil for this too. But this stuff here works really well and just want to kind of get that filled in there. Not too too much, but uh yeah, this is the reach all pin order. This this stuff here is probably probably as old as me. I wouldn't be surprised. Matter of fact, yeah, it's made by a company called GC Electronics. And I think uh I think one of these tubes, but one of the tubes said like tape recorder oil to give you an idea how old it is. <laughs> so this is the only oil that I have that seems to last on electric motors, not just in computer fans, but in like shaded pole 120 volt motors and like desk fans and things like that. Um, Matter of fact, I had I was I was able to get a uh, bathroom exhaust fan in the old place working properly with this stuff. It's really good stuff. Um, so now what I'll do is just get that worked in there pretty good. I may add this a little more. Does it help ensure it will last for a good while? I mean, this fan is probably, I mean, the system, I think, is uh, early 2012, so it's 10 years old now. And it was pulled from service in, I think, 2020 or 2021. Yeah, these Octoplex 390s, I got a whole bunch of these machines. I'm getting ready to get some more. Got to go tomorrow evening after work and pick up a few more. And the guy's been getting them for me. Getting ready to fix these up and put them up for sale. So, got that back on there. And let's just go ahead and get that worked in. And you can see how the fan, when it's barely twitch it, it easily spins. No problem. Alright, so I'll go ahead and return the label. Just like that. And now I'll go ahead and reinstall this back into place. And yeah, guys, when you're working in these machines and some other computers, be mindful of sharp edges. I mean, to be honest, I didn't feel any pain. I just noticed blood on my, on my, <laughs> I, no, I noticed red stuff. And I was like, what? And I started seeing more of it. And I was like, oh, it's blood. Oh, crap. <laughs> like a paper cut, more or less. I'm going to try to reuse the rubber grommets. But if they don't cooperate for me, I'm just going to rip them out and replace them with traditional fan screws. I mean, I guess Dell can refer to this as a tool-free method of installing the replacement or installing a fan. I call it a hassle. Because you get it, you get almost all the way in, and then they want to start um, fighting you, and not not cooperate. All right, so yeah, I'm, I'm like I like I say, I'm I'm not going to waste my time with these things. We're just going to rip them right out of there. Telling you guys, I'm just not not in the mood for it today. <laughs> okay, goodbye, aggravating grommets. Since I have way more fan screws, than I know what to do with. I just took them out. I mean, if you, if you have time to deal with them. I'm sure you can get the fan to pop back on like it like it normally would go. But I just don't have the time and patience tonight to deal with the things. I mean, I already cut my thumb on this freaking thing. <laughs> so, there you have it.
So we're going to plug in our fan connection. Alrighty, so now what we can do is we'll go ahead and plug this thing back in. And power it up. Okay, so now we're going to press the power button and watch the fan this time. You may be able to see it's spinning at a much, much faster speed. We still have the alert message for the previous fan failure, so let's see if we can take care of that. So that way you won't get that notification every time the system starts up. So I'm going to actually press F1. We'll see if it clears on its own. There's no OS on this machine right now. All right, so that cleared the uh, fan message and again. There's no operating system on the machine, so there you have it. So you just have to lube the fan up, and hopefully you'll have some. If you're like me, you'll maybe if you're lucky, you'll have some fan screws uh, kicking around. If not, um, I guess you have to deal with those grommets. I don't know what, really what to tell you on that because I uh, I just don't have the patience for them. <laughs> but um, but yeah, that's how you can resolve that fan failure message. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the computer channel, and be sure to tick that bell so you get notified when new videos are posted. Also, don't forget, I have a whole lot of other interesting videos here on the channel to check out. And also, in addition, I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX, where I have all sorts of other videos not exactly related to technology. Links to the channels are available at the end of this video. Again, I thank you for your support and thanks for watching this video.